Now, a state-of-the-art simulator is helping Metro drivers prepare for the arrival of a new fleet of high-tech trains. With just two months to go until the first new Metro train arrives in the northeast, drivers are about to start training on the simulator, where they'll be able to test out various scenarios, including all weathers and possible hazards on the track. Steph Cleesby reports. A state-of-the-art right simulator prepares Metro drivers for the new fleet of trains. A full-size replica of a new train cab with CGI to give a realistic and interactive experience. The Metro network and all 60 stations have been programmed in. Our current fleet is 40 years old. Um, our new fleet is going to be um, a lot more intelligent, a lot more computer-based. So the purpose of the driver simulator is effectively to give the drivers a fully immersive and realistic train experience on our new Metro trains. Um, which gives them the comfort and the confidence they need to, to drive the new fleet. All weather conditions and potential situations from snow and high winds to cows or vehicles on the line can be put in front of a driver at the touch of a button. Michael Darling will be one of the first to drive the new trains. It's going to completely change the way that we sort of learn to deal with situations that can occur out on the line or even just down to the basics of, of learning how to drive a train. Um, it is almost, uh, I mean it, it does simulate real life essentially, um, so it behaves as a normal train would, um, all the controls work as a normal train would. Time for me to get in the driver's seat. Now if you pop some brake on, so we'll try and stop at the platform a bit more. Oh, oh I think we're going past. <laughs> no, no, that's good, you're stopping in the right place. And if you want to open the doors up, so you can select left on that switch. And you can see on your screen here, passengers are going to get on and off the train. The first of 46 new Metro trains will arrive in the region before the end of the year. The chance to drive the new fleet for real will come in 2023. Steph Cleesby, BBC Look North, South Shields. And I think Steph's going to stick with a day job, actually, <laughs> after that.